Hi everyone, I'm Danny Mata with sports. The news that Chassa plans to restart high school sports this fall was certainly welcome to athletes across the state. And for a pair of defending state champion football teams, it means they get a shot to defend their crowns. There will be a high school football season, and that's a relief, especially after high school hoop season was canceled in the middle of the playoffs and the spring season was canceled altogether. But with football season back on, teams like Pine Creek and Palmer Ridge can finally begin their quest for another championship. So it's good news. I'm super excited because it's kind of like one last run with my friends and, and just one last time to ball out with everyone. So it was, it was the best news I heard in a long time. Oh, I was pumped. I was pumped to hear that, you know, like Bo said, you know, we're trying to make another run at a state title. So it's good to like get that focus to get the boys ready to go this fall. So I was pumped to hear that. It was just hard, you know, just being having to wait that long, you know, but it was definitely a relief knowing that, um, you know, Chasa is going to proceed with going on and just worry about the safety and guidelines and things like that. Definitely. Super excited, you know, that I'm going to be able to go out there and practice with my brothers and stuff like that. I mean, there was a lot of rumors going that, uh, oh, you guys might not have your season. Um, what are you guys going to do? Or this might be postponed. Uh, fall without football, uh, I think a lot of people would go crazy. There's no telling how long the season will go, and it's possible it could get suspended or even canceled if, in fact, there is a second wave of the coronavirus. I think that's the worst thing that could happen um, because if that in does end up happening, they would have to shut it down. And at that point, it's too late. Um, our that season's just going to be gone. We can't do anything about it. We don't want to take any games for granted this year, so especially being me and both senior years. So we definitely want to just take every game for, you know, what it is, and hopefully we get a full season this year. But that's for another day. Palmer Ridge is coming off its third straight state championship, and now a new challenge awaits them. The Bears will make the jump to Class 4A, meaning we have two defending champions in 4A this year. And this year's Bears squad can begin a new legacy. We're considered the underdogs. Um, being in 3A, everyone constantly says, you guys are just 3A. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything. You guys are just winning 3A. But if you look at the players on our team, uh, obviously all, a lot of kids are being nationally recruited. So going up to 4A, we could finally prove ourselves like we could compete with any team in Colorado. You know, I'm excited about it, just being able to come up to 4A. Um, you know, I'm about to run it up. It's definitely going to be a challenge, you know, but our team's always worked hard, you know, so I'm excited to be able to move up to 4A and get after teams like Pine Creek. Of course, Pine Creek is the reigning 4A champion, and we know the Eagles don't rebuild, they reload. We're in good shape, and especially this last offseason, I feel like we're all real motivated, so we had a head start. I think this year we got a lot of, a lot of expectations of us, and I think the guys all kind of realized that, so... We're just going to keep working, keep our heads down, and do what we've done the past four years and just try and get back there. You know, the cool thing about that is uh, when I was talking to them, uh, the Palmer Ridge kids were, you know, were, were talking about going after Pine Creek and right. kind of, you know, dethroning them in 4A. And I mm -hmm. said, do you have a message for Pine Creek? And the Palmer Ridge kids said, be ready. Be ready. And the uh, Pine Creek kids, when I told them about that, they were like, we'll be ready.